Well, welcome back to Apex Alchemy. Uh, today we are using a Sylvanas by Work Tough Gear. Uh, we got it in our hand right now. You see Courtney doing some chopping. Uh, in a minute, you'll see that this does get out of frame a little. Uh, that's my fault. I'm holding the other end of the stick uh, while she's chopping. And uh, later on in the video, we 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 uh we, we get a little bit better of a setup. But this first scene, I didn't want to I didn't want to cut it like out. See, it's getting out of frame. We didn't want to we didn't want to cut this out because she actually makes it all the way through it. And so wanted to really show that. But how did that how did that knife feel while you were chopping, Courtney? Uh, it's it's pretty tough to chop with this one. Okay. Um, uh, it, it took a little, a lot more effort than than I expected. And I like the way Scab says things. You know, you know, like uh, certain people have certain skill sets, and especially you know have uh, certain skill sets with certain types of knives. Yeah. And with this being a Scandi grind knife, with that uh, saber type of grind, uh, and a micro. Uh, there she goes. She got she got all the way through it. It's it's not a knife that either one of us are familiar with. <clears throat> there she is. She's holding it up, showing the showing the knife. It's got a beautiful grind on it. Satu Dave sent us this knife uh, as a gift, and we very much appreciate it. It's it, you know it, it won't be going anywhere. We may send it to him for a regrind for something that's more our style at some point in the future. But I'd I'd rather see if we can uh, learn it. Now here I'm stripping some bark off of a tree. And this knife excels. Yes, this is where it this, starts to shine. Yeah, with my skill set and this knife, um, which I, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not an expert, and, and I'm definitely not uh, uh, trying to claim to be. But with my skill set, uh, stripping the bark off of the knife, I mean, off, off the, <laughs> off the stick, is, uh, is, is actually pretty pleasurable. You know, like I mean, it, it was, uh, it was kind of fun. It was knocking knots off. You know, get these little nubs where these limbs used to be. And knock them off just fine, and um, with ease. Yeah, with ease. I yeah, just kind of want more. I do feel that's where this this one shines more. It is in the the stripping, the the shaping uh, of the wood instead of chopping. Yeah, yeah. I think that's some walnut that we have there. I could be mistaken. We were in a cypress forest. Here I'm just kind of showing the grips. You know, like all the all four grips that you can you hold the knife in, and. Uh, it's very comfortable no matter how you hold it. All right, well, here we go. With throwing the knife, uh, I did, you know, the knife threw well. We threw a few different knives today, and this one was probably the best throwing knife that we had. When I'm pulling that out of the wood, I'm doing the D-bad thing and the scab thing, and I'm, I'm trying to pull it out of the wood by prying the, the, the tip uh, from side to side just to see if we get any tip damage and now i'm showing you we didn't we didn't get any tip damage whatsoever here goes courtney is going to carve the sharpest man that thing was sharp when it I was a that. quill courtney you know it wasn't even a spear she said i'm going to carve a spear uh she carved a quill like <laughs> you could have dipped it in ink and started writing the declaration it of was, independence it was thing. very very pointy <laughs> yeah and and the knife seemed to excel there too i really enjoyed it with this yeah so the only problem we've had with the knife so far with our skill set is chopping. And the reason why I, I want to like highlight that is because it may be the best chopper in the world to some people. But for us, the balance is, is kind of uh, further back on the knife. Yeah, and my little weak arms need some further forward. Yeah, look <laughs> at this spear that she's coming up with. There she goes. She's showing it. And, and like it, you know, I, I touched it and it was probably and I didn't even bring it home nuts. I should have brought it home I'd, I'd had a new poker for you <laughs> oh wow <laughs> this is him this, making a, another spear yeah and I kind of went at it like a feathering type of thing for a little while but the stick that I have ended up really being hollow in the in the center so bringing it to a fine point uh, was was kind of a challenge when I, I thought I was getting there right here um, I noticed that I really wasn't, so I like had to break off some dead pieces, uh, of or you know some, not really dead pieces. There you go. They weren't really connected anymore. <laughs> yeah, it, it was it was a weird. It was a live piece of wood. Well, it wasn't rotten yet or termite infested yet, but yeah, man, I had a I had a pretty good. I didn't really come up with a spear point. Now we're using the back of the blade. 
And if we were in the camping scenario, we would want to collect what I'm, I'm shaving off as, you know, for kindling. But what we're doing is we're using the back of the blade. Work Tough Gear has an excellent uh, spine. sharp spine for striking ferrule rods. And I'm using that back of that blade just to, just, just to skin some of that bark off there. And, and or strip the, the feathering stuff that would be great for fire starting there. This is kind of like some super, um, what do you call it? Paracord. Paracord. It's really, it's, really thick. It's really thick. It's really thick. Like it's, yeah. Chopped and, right through that like butter. Yeah, it did. Okay, so sorry about the abrupt ending to the uh, field and the sudden appearance of the tabletop. We had a we had a leadway. We had to cut it short because something happened with the audio. Um, I think the audio just extended the video some kind of way. I'm not sure what happened. Um, this is just trial and error type thing. New way to do a video. So bear with us. We're not used to doing things this way. We enjoyed <laughs> it though. Yeah. Okay. So we'll talk about this sheath. <laughs> it comes with the clip. comes with the... Attack clip? Yeah. Uh, there's no way to uh, attach it. You know what I mean? Like, and it was pretty much the same story on the famine. So, like, you could attach, like, one hole or something. Like, so we, we went and got a makeshift sheath from Walmart and went with a machete for the famine. So I'm not sure if this is something we're going to have to do with every worked up gear that we, we get our hands on. Not a big deal. But yeah, I'm just kind of curious as like I'm. I'm well, I'm, all the stuff comes in the packaging when it's not really able to be used. I just feel like I'm likely missing something, and at the same time, this has been cleaned. <laughs> PB blaster. He tried everything. <laughs> WD forty. Um, you're not gonna believe it, but. I'm just at the illusion, or not the illusion, but under I guess the impression. I'm under the impression that whatever it touches, touches it too, you know. But I think that's kind of cool, man. It's gonna patina really cool. Like I, it's it's oiled up. Like I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. Like I'm still wiping, <laughs> wiping something off of it, but but I've cleaned it with a. Uh, Probably with, something that yeah. wound up in the sheets when we were out. There. It may it may have been, but. but yeah, he tried everything to get this thing to come clean. <laughs> but like, uh, love the way it feather stuck or feather, yeah. not feather stuck. Feather, feather <laughs> was, the, Yeah, the feather sticking, and uh, when we were scraping with the spine and getting the kindling. Um, well, a lot of the stuff that that we would do for 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 camping and all, it does great with. Absolutely, I agree. Now, when you you start looking at work tough gears. You'll start seeing all kinds of different finishes. I'm not sure if all finishes end up, you know, like this. Um, I, I I don't I don't mind it. I think it, it's going to look cool, like patinaed. You know what I mean? But if you're the type of person that is really <laughs> anal about having a spotless knife, this I'm is not, not sure finish. this is going to be your brand. <laughs> no, I, I have a. Uh, the famine's the same way. It is. Wait. And, and, like, it's purpley. So, it has to be something in the oil of the wood we were cutting through that's, like, coloring it. Yeah. Because we didn't cut any berries or anything. No. Like. <laughs> well, it's kind of weird. It's weird. It's, like, it, it, it's going to patina really nicely. Like, you're not going to be able to hide the fact that you've used this knife. And that's and that's totally cool with me. But you can't feel this stuff that's on this no. knife. Like, it's not. It's it's literally a chemical reaction, yeah, of some sort. And that so let us know what that's going, you know, what's going on with that. You know, I'm, there's got to be some viewers out there that know what's up, um, and uh, they may be able to tell us what we're doing wrong. But I'm not I'm not really concerned about it. But I don't want to pass off bad information either. If you got a really good effective way to clean off a work tough gear, that's SK85. By the way, uh, I want to know about it just so we'll know. But uh, it, like I cleaned them as soon as we got home. And I was like, you just ain't going to clean this knife. Right. <laughs> and also the clip. I don't want to pass off bad information about that either. Uh, no matter how I turned it, I couldn't Could get no more spot. than yeah. a screw on there. Like, you know, you know, 
these three these three screw the hose line up and so do these so like i guess you would have to carry it scout but this right here is going to prevent that that hole and this right here will you know will prevent this hole from lining up so like you you really only got these two holes to play with and they don't line up perfectly with right. the clip so it's just it's just a thing it's not a it's not a big deal because sheaths can be um a bought you know but it's uh it's it's just a thing to be aware of it's not a not a complaint as much as it is a a, a foresight or, right. or whatever uh, and the the little notch that's another thing that makes this an, this one another great camping knife uh ferrule rod use it's also like Ken Faulkner suggested maybe like when you've got one of the kettle pots over the fire you could actually use this to to grab the handle and pull yeah. it up the so like as a camping knife and, and stuff that I would be using a knife for outside it, it's great yeah I like it yeah um uh, chopping some wood the bigger pieces of wood i i would definitely go with a another option but all the rest of the stuff like it's it's a good all-around knife for everything else extremely comfortable too man just not my chopper of choice but the g10 it feels really good and if you read it like i think its name is isaac phil t-h-i-l-l -L. and i may be wrong about the first name but on worked up gears website if you look up the savannah's like, you, you know, he created this notch for a few different things on there. You know, like uh, like he, he, he mentioned a few different things that you could use it for. Uh, okay. Opening bottles and getting that pot off, you know, that, that hot pot off the fire and all that stuff like you like you mentioned. But, like, the the handle is, like, he, he's not lying. You know, he, he, he wanted to make the handle with a, a, swipe, a slight swell in the center and a, a finger groove. That will fit any hand. Yeah, I I didn't have any complaints. No. With the the grip. No, this hand. No, this handle is is immaculate. And that's usually one of the first complaints you'll hear from me. If if mm -hmm. it's got too much going on, y'all are gonna know about it. <laughs> right. And it doesn't matter how I hold it either. I I I'm not saying I I come into a, you know, like a a ton of different scenarios where I would use a knife like this, but if I had to. Like, it feels really good yeah. in the reverse grip, too. Like, it feels just as natural in the reverse grip as it does in the forward grip. If not, just a little bit more, to be honest. I, and I noticed that while I was shaving yeah. that, that, that stuff, I was shaving that bark into the, that kennel. The swell feels a little more natural than that. that. Yeah. So thanks again, Satu Dave. He sent this as long as a gift, and we very much appreciate it. And it will get some use, yes, like some real use. Uh, we just took it out to Walnut Log. Uh, that's a real foot lake area in, t in West Tennessee, uh, and and played around in the swamp. It was a little cypress forest that we were yeah. in, uh, pretty much in the in the swamp, uh, swampy area, I guess you would say. Uh, not necessarily a real deal swamp. It can be at times. It can be. Yes, yes ma'am, you're right. It can be. I've been out there when it has been. <laughs> but I, I would, man, if I had to rate this knife as a, a, a as a every, no, no, no. I mean, it's like the only knife that you had, you know? It, it would get the job done. It can't, yeah, it can get the job done. Like, it can do the chopping, um, and it, 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 and it excels Is it the most efficient chopper? No. No. But it will do the job. But if you had this and a machete for chopping and you went camping, I think you'd be in pretty mm -hmm. good shape. Yeah. Like if this was the only knife you carried camping alongside a machete for the cho the chopping, you'd be okay. Yep. Be more than okay. Like if we'd have had this, we'd have been better off when we were trying mm -hmm. to get our percolator off the fire. Absolutely. We were making <laughs> coffee at the campground and that was... Uh, that was interesting. It was. It got interesting <laughs> when it was time to take the percolator off the fire. That's... <laughs> Not a joke. <laughs> All right. So, uh, anyway, do you have anything to add? No, I, I, a nice, well-rounded outdoors knife. Yeah. Let us know what you think about the video, truthfully. You know, this is our first shot at this, so let us know. Uh, of course, you know, we take great inspiration from Choir Boys Outdoors and uh, Donnie B. All Day, uh, Advanced Knife Bro, all kinds of different channels that actually get really active with their using the knives do you prefer to just look at them on the table and hear us talk, or did you enjoy this? 
It's okay. Either way, there's no wrong answer. Right. All right. You guys have a great one. We'll catch you on the flip side.